Good afternoon. How are you? Today we're going to do book two, lesson 13. We hope you enjoy and I look forward to seeing your answers. New verbs. Ran. Put. Asked. Danced. War. Used. I ran to school. I put the book there. I asked her. I danced with him. I wore my shoes. I used the blender. I ran in Central Park with some friends yesterday. He ran to her. I asked you something. He asked for money. I asked for a book. He asked his father for money. I asked them to wait for me here. She danced very well. Mike danced with Jill last Saturday. She wore very beautiful clothes at the party. They used the car all day long. He put the book on the piano. He put the milk in the bottle. She put on her makeup. Highlights. Verb to be past tense interrogative. Bom, na mesma forma que a gente trabalha o verbo to be, a gente vai trabalhar o verbo to be no passado. Né? Então, para quem é o was, para quem é o were, a gente já falou sobre isso, é, ele vai pular na frente do sujeito. Né? Então, ao invés de falar I was, vai ser was I, né? was he, was she ou was it. Né? E isso vai significar é, eu fui, ele era, ela estava. Né? Uh, e vamos lá aos exemplos, né? Was he at school yesterday? Ele estava na escola ontem? Was she a good teacher? Ela era uma boa professora? Ou ela foi uma boa professora? Né? Was it a bad movie? Hum, foi um, um filme ruim? Uh, e para o were? Were vai para you, we, they. Vocês, nós e eles. Uh, e vai ser eram, foram ou estavam. Né? Então, vamos ali aos exemplos do livro. Were you there? Você estava lá? Were they on the beach? Eles estavam na praia? Então, quando esse verbo significa, uh, significa foi ou foram, não é no sentido de sair de A, é, e parar em B, é no sentido de ter sido alguma coisa. Então, eu falar que eu fui um bom amigo, eu era um bom amigo, né? Então, não é qualquer foi ou foram, é nesse sentido de ser e estar, tá? Ok? E só vai acontecer isso com o passado, com o foi ou com foram, né? Eles eram bons amigos, eles foram bons amigos, né? Nesse sentido, a gente faz mais confusão do que o inglês, ok? Verb to be past tense negative. 
Da mesma forma que o verbo to be funciona, o verbo to be no past tense vai funcionar. A gente vai pegar aquele, aquilo que é a conjugação do verbo e juntar com o not. Então, was not, ou wasn't, que é o que está aí nos livros de vocês, e were not, ou weren't, que de novo é o que está aí no livro de vocês. Tá? Não é só porque está só aparecendo para vocês a forma contraída, que só pode usar a contraída. Não, a gente já falou sobre isso. Em todas as formas, a gente pode estar sempre com o verbo auxiliar mais o not, sem ele estar contraído. E funciona assim também. Então, was not ou wasn't, e were not ou weren't. Repitam aí, tá? Então, I was not. I wasn't. Ok? E assim consecutivamente. Aí vamos lá no you were not ou you weren't. Muito bem. Então vamos aos exemplos. I wasn't with her last night. He wasn't studying at the university. She wasn't a bad maid. It wasn't so cold. Traduções aí das frases, eu não estava com ela a noite passada, ele não estava estudando uh, na universidade, ela não foi uma má empregada e não estava tão frio, ok? Uh, you weren't at the office yesterday afternoon, você não estava no escritório ontem à tarde. You weren't doing anything. Você não estava fazendo nada. They weren't alone at home. Eles não estavam sozinhos em casa. Ok? New words. Sweet. Sour. Meaningful, wonderful, blonde, blonde, French, Spanish, clean, dirty, suitcase. Urgent, tall, short, winter, summers, fall, autumn, spring, anyone. No one. Furniture. Season. Probably. Weird. Ready. She is a very sweet girl. Those fruit were very sour. You always say meaningful words. She was wonderful at the party last night. There aren't many blonde boys where I study. I saw a blonde girl with him at the beach. I asked the waiter for more wine in French. They learned how to speak Spanish. My shoes were clean when I went out.
Don't put your dirty shoes on the couch. He put all his clothes in the suitcase. I want you to send her this email. It's urgent. I don't think she was so tall. The dress she bought wasn't very short. I want to spend my winter vacations in Aspen. We usually have very hot summers here. They weren't living here last fall or last autumn. The weather is always nice here in spring. Is there anyone at school now? No one understood what you wanted. Did they buy new furniture for their house? Spring is the season of flowers. She was probably at church in the evening. We ate a lot of weird vegetables during our trip. She told me she was ready to go to class. Learning to apologize. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Please don't be mad at me. It's my fault. I apologize. New expressions. Now and then. A long time ago. It doesn't matter to be able mean on time. I see her downtown now and then. The last time I saw them was a long time ago. You're a nice person. It doesn't matter what other people think. Are you able to do it? Were you able to talk to them? She wasn't able to arrive there. What do you mean? What does weird mean? I don't even know what this word means. I never arrive on time. 